Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a little DIY video kind of for you guys. Uh, if you're looking for some red plants and you want the easy way to do it, uh, can't say it's going to be cheap but here we go. I do have two lights on my 55 gallon. Now this one is just white and blue light. And then this one is a full spectrum light. It has uh, a few LEDs in there that is full spectrum. I don't want to lift it up because I don't want to blind blind the camera. Um, but I am getting red colors in there. Now this plant is new, so bear with me. It is new. I just got it in there. So you can only see the top of it that's, you know, getting red at the top. Now I got some buce in here too. And that's new too. So if you guys want to keep updated on seeing how colorful I can get it with the way I have it set up, then please do subscribe. And then maybe, you know, we can find some answers together. Um, so what I do, I have the two lights and I do have CO2 on this tank. Now, I'm not necessarily saying you do need CO2 but you do need the lights the lights will help you get the red that you want if you have a deep tank like a 55 gallon you do want intense lights now the problem with the lights is you might have to cut them back because you will start getting algae on the glass I'm still tempering with the timing on the lights to when I can get the, you know, plants red without growing algae. Now, I recently just started dosing again. Uh, I am dosing Thrive. Uh, I've been told it is a really good brand. So uh, it was this option or something else. And everybody was like, get that. That's what's going to do it. And I'm like, okay. And it seems like it's doing it. Uh, now to the CO2. This is how I am doing the CO2. Now, this is a lot different from what everybody else is doing. So, what I do is I have a drain cleaner. <laughs> uh, you can buy it on Amazon or you can get it from Walmart. It's a drain cleaner uh, and it has CO2 in it. So, you can get these CO2 bottles that you pump in there. And you put the CO2 in that bottle and you fill it all the way up to us in the to the bottom part right there now I've been doing this for a while the first time I saw it done is on Dustin's channel the first time I've seen it done and now I've been doing it for a while now and my plants grow fast so I'm not saying that will help with your red but it will help your plants grow fast and get taller and everything so if you do plan on cutting your plants and you know trading them out for some new plants co2 might be your best bet i mean you can get the colors more vivid with co2 i am still testing this though i am still testing this method to see if i can get it as dark as possible now i have another tank over here to my left that i can show you guys in another video i'm not gonna you know, ruin the surprise, but that tank will not have CO2 in it, but it does have a good light. And I want to see if I do the same thing, dose the same stuff, dose the same amount. Well, not the same amount because it's a smaller tank, but have the good lights on there without the CO2. Will I still get the good colors in these plants? And that's what I'm going for. I'm testing it all out myself. Um, if you want to join me in this journey, I do got some little wiggy in there. Um, and then that plant is supposed to get red too. Now you see at the top, you can't really see it from this angle. Let me see if I can get it for you. But that plant turns red too. So I'm trying to see if I can get all these plants to get red the way I'm doing it. Uh, you can follow me on the journey, like I said. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I especially want to see if that colors up. If you guys want to see if that colors up with me, I mean, you know what to do. Subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.
Peace.